I'm Evan Thomason for This Week in Santa Clarita. Right now I'm joined with Glenn Bogna of the City's Parks Division. Uh, Glenn, we're at Newhall Park and we've got a lot of activity going behind us. Yes, we do. This is uh, one of our latest projects in parks planning. This is a play equipment refurbishment project where we're taking an outdated old play area and we're updating it and refurbishing the entire system. Okay, so uh, explain to us some of the things that are going on, and I know we, we had talked briefly before this, and codes change, and so do safety uh, considerations. Right, right. Uh, well, what we were talking about was the fact that this play area, although it's just a little over a decade old and is actually held up pretty well considering the amount of use that it gets, uh, has fallen out of compliance with some of our new handicap accessibility and safety requirements. So in order to meet the new criteria, we've utilized some of the old poles that you can see here that are standing out here. Here. A lot of the equipment's already been removed, and uh, most of the poles have already been removed. And with the design team, we're able to design a new system, completely new equipment with new features and new stations to play on and stuff, but still recycling some of the old material as far as the play equipment and then uh, and the poles, so that the system will look brand new, but actually still be utilizing some of the old. Saved us a little bit of money. And so, what are we seeing uh, going on down there? I noticed some of the uh, that the vulcanized uh, rubber that I'm seeing being put down there? Right, what they're doing is they're removing the old rubber. Um, as part of this project funding, we were able to obtain a grant from the state for using recycled car tires, believe it or not. And uh, they have a minimum requirement. There will be at least 2,500 car tires that are diverted from the landfill and recycled, turned into this shredded rubber material that you see they're removing the old, which is pretty worn out, has a lot of uh, deficiencies in it and loose seams and stuff so we're removing all of that today and then after the new equipment is in they'll re-pour and resurface that rubberized area which also uh, fulfills our handicap accessibility requirements so that is a fall zone padded area as well it's hard and smooth enough to access with wheelchairs and strollers and walkers and as we tape this it's uh, mid-march roundabout so when is this gonna be finished we're actually on a kind of a tight, tight time crunch here. We're hoping to be finished with this by April. Um, so they're, they've got about a month or less. They've already been working on this for a couple weeks. There's a big lead time on getting the play equipment. So they actually had their notice proceed back in December and it takes about six weeks or so just to get the play equipment. And then we give them the green light to start the demolition. So we left the, the play area open as long as we could for the community. And then as soon as we had everything here, we tell them, okay, close it up, demo it everything and start going. So they've really only been on the job site here for a couple weeks, but they're moving along pretty quick. So is this uh, something that's going on at more of our older parks in Santa Clarita? We've actually already done this to a couple of our parks. Uh, we did Canyon Country Park, had some upgrades done to it. We've done Valencia Meadows, um, Valencia Glen had some work. I did a project there several years ago. So as, comp as the codes change and the requirements and the community needs, we kind of go through and kind of recycle through our projects. This is one of the oldest parks in the city. So this is one of the play areas that uh, we had redone to begin with early like I said, over a decade ago, and now we're getting back around and bringing this one up to standard as well. Okay. Is there, um, how are we funding? Is this through grant money? Uh, a big chunk of this is through the grant, through the rubber tire grant with uh, California State, and then um, a part of it is through our general fund as well. Glenn, I want to thank you for joining us. Uh, if you're out there, look for newly refurbished playground equipment coming to Newhall Park uh, sometime before summer. For This Week in Santa Clarita, I'm Evan Thomason.